going on you the tube um, I'm jumping on a bandwagon today I just found out about vlogtober I don't genuinely vlog on the regular let's go get the other wash um, but I thought that this might be kind of fun yes I have a mask on I always have a mask on uh, so I don't really know how this works people that vlog I feel like my life isn't that interesting, but sometimes you tell stories and you're like, how could it not be that interesting when you have five kids and you work nights and I mean, life is always kind of crazy. But yeah, here I am on Vlogtober and I'm late because it's six days in, but I worked last night and uh, napped for, well, I slept. I slept for five hours. And I fell asleep as per usual with my makeup on. Big no-no. Um, I had every intention of getting up, but I did not. So I like to overcompensate by multi-masking. I guess I could show you guys some stuff that I use. When you run into a towel after you just wash your face and it smells kind of funky and then you're like, damn it. Now my face smells kind of funny and I just did all this washing. So today I used this one. Are you okay? You all right? Okay. Mm. Aslan, you want to show them what we use? Aslan was playing with the liquid lipstick as she does when I get ready. This one is Jeffree Star Crocodile Tears. Mm -hmm. Cute, huh? So I use this Shea Moisture Peace Rose Oil Complex Sensitive Skin Mud Mask. Um, <laughs> I like this one. It's, it's still full. So that tells you I don't absolutely love it, but because it's got oils in it, it doesn't dry out your face while still pulling stuff out, but sometimes I get really reactive to the oils. This one I have actually burned through. It's kind of a dupe for the Glam Glow one uh, because it's got exfoliating little, not rocks, but exfoliators in it. So it's like a two in one. I really, really like this one. Today I had planned on, I always plan on doing some kind of videos or reviews, but I need to do a video on my Feather River body. Um, I've done a lot of videos using the products, but not a straight up review of it. This is one of the palettes that they have. It's a five pan palette and it's called Burnt Orange Five Pan Palette and it's only 20 bucks. And I'm gonna turn you guys around really quick. Whoa, this magnet. I am battling with a magnet right now that was for a mask. I haven't done a review on it because I filmed it twice and I lost the footage. And every time I do that mask, it breaks me out. So, oh my God, this magnet is crazy. The magnet, and I can't, I can't get it up. These are my other, yeah, these are my other Feather River Body. These were from the fall bundle, which is going to be restocked. She had two bundles on her site. And um, one of them is from the Bomb Beauty. And that one is, is done. But this one is going to be restocked, and this is the fall. And then I picked up a single shade that's supposed to dupe Anastasia Beverly Hills. She has dupes for all kinds of palettes. Wants me to use the sheet mask. So sure, we'll use this one. Bring it with us. Come on, let's go. Let's go. So two of the boys are at their dad's. The other two kiddos, Troy and May, are at a birthday party. The man dropped them off, and right now it's me and As masking. Wait, can I? Can I put on some essence first? Just this mask, it's an AHA, BHA peeling solution mask from The Ordinary. Um, I did that one and then I did my regular clay mask. So exfoliate, clean it out, and then I start putting in my serums and then I top with this. And it's always one of those things like, oh, I gotta fix my face after I chose to sleep for six hours with makeup on. So this is what a normal day is kind of like for me when I am um, either I've worked the night before and I really don't have time to film, but I still want to put that time into my skincare. I usually do some kind of mask, always a sheet mask, my serums, and just depending on what my skin needs for the day, I add something. So today I am actually off work tonight and um, I'm off tomorrow night, which is rare. I usually work weekends. Tomorrow night the man has a sleep study, so that's why I needed the night off. And then tonight, I guess my boss randomly decided that I deserve a Saturday night off. Not that I do anything on Saturday night. 
Uh, usually when I have days off on a weekend because the man works Monday through Friday, but he can work from home. So sometimes he works on the weekends too. But, um, you know, we don't go out. I mean, how do you find a babysitter for five kids? And whether you know this or not about me, I have, um, <laughs> ghetto, I have multiple baby daddies. So uh, my kiddos do go to their prospective dads on some weekends, not always. And so it leaves us kind of with maybe me, him, and Aslan, or me, him, Aslan. May likes to stay home a lot with me, even if I go to work. She's just more comfortable at home. Most of my kids are. They'd rather be with mom, uh, except Troy. Troy is my third son. He prefers hanging out with dad. But the main reason I decided to do this uh, vlog-tober is because I'm really playing with the idea I'm making coffee. I drink about five cups a day. It's never enough. And look in the background, you can see where I've set up various locations to do videos. But I'm thinking about doing vlog, the, testing out Vlogtober because I want to do Vlogmas. But I don't want to become a vlog channel. Although I sometimes think I might be more successful on YouTube if I focused on the real real of my life, which is being a mom to five kids and I am not, I'm not like a quintessential granola kind of mom. I'm not like, you can't watch that. You can't eat this. You can't, you know, I'm a little more lenient with, cause I feel like it's more important for them to be aware of what the world can and is, but work on being good humans because we have so many assholes in the world. So anyway, the whole purpose of me doing this Vlogtober is to test out how I will do Vlogmas. And I wanna keep it around what my channel is based on now, which is beauty and makeup. And, and I don't know if my channel will ever become something else. You know, it might if that's the way it goes. But I enjoy doing makeup and beauty related videos and content because it's the one thing that's just about me. Nobody else in this house is about makeup. None of my kids are interested in makeup. I have to do dance for my daughter. She's a dancer. My um, boys play various sports and um, you know, makeup is my thing that's just for me. And if anybody I guess you wouldn't know this, but I was um, an aspiring actress when I was young. That's all I wanted to be. To the point where I donated eggs when I was 18, 19 years old because I wanted to help somebody else and I knew I wasn't going to have children. And here we are, all this time later, and I have five of them. I'm just really good at procreating. Um, and that's not a joke. There's just people out there that are extremely fertile pill patch shop babies and um, you know it is what it is it's it, what I, I guess what I was made to do it is it might be my legacy I just always had envisioned other things for myself I did not want to have kids and it's not because I don't like children I, I speak baby I believe fully I speak baby but how do you explain without sound, sounding quite selfish. I wanted to be selfish. And I knew that the moment I had children, it would not be about me ever again. Are you changing the trash can? Do you feel like the trash can needs to be changed? Okay, I think it's good for the now. So I don't really know how this works, how people do vlogs. I just, um, I mean, if it's the sixth day, you would need to get it up on the sixth, correct? Maybe if you've ever done vlogs before, you can leave it down below and let me know because if I did something extremely interesting this evening, highly unlikely, uh, would I put that in tomorrow's vlog? You know, let me know. I'm gonna upload this now because why not? Again, not makeup, just me talking here. I mean, we talked a little skincare. And tomorrow, uh, because I'm off, 
and he's planning on taking baby to go see grandpa. I will be filming. But yeah, let me know what you guys think if you watch this. I genuinely feel that most of these kind of things are kind of boring, so I just don't ever do it. But as I invest more into YouTube, I realize that people want to invest into people. And um, you can't get any more real than this. It's like who we are. Can you put the milk away, baby? Thank you, put it in there. She's so damn cute. He's so cute. Anywho, I'm gonna throw on a sheet mask. I'm gonna milk up, to drink up this coffee and hope that eventually I wake up sometime today. Usually I spend the day when I'm like this. I'll clean makeup brushes, I jot ideas, I scroll YouTube, I check all of my subscriptions to see if there's anybody within um, my Facebook groups and that kind of thing that they've uploaded so I can watch their videos. I try to be a supportive YouTube friend and um, yeah, that's about it. So tacos are on the agenda for today and maybe a movie night, which would be nice. That never happens. So let me know down below what you think about vlogging, how you keep it cohesive. It's important for me. But yeah, we'll see you tomorrow with the next vlog of October. October vlog, vlog, vlogtober. We'll be back for that. Can you shut the fridge? It shows how dirty it, our fridge is. It's kind of embarrassing. Wow. Uh, yeah. Do you want some cottage cheese? You want it with ketchup like your dad likes? Disgusting.